Hello everybody. Robin Sharrett sent me a mail and pointed me to a Blender tutorial and asked if I could do uh, something like this alarm clock on my channel. Unfortunately I would have to uh, register on this site and this is something I don't like to do. But I think I know uh, pretty well what kind of clock he means and uh, so I am doing this tutorial which should be suitable also for total beginners. Okay, I have prepared something already as you can see here, the numbers. Uh, there are two reasons. First, it takes a while to do it and second, I already did a tutorial on how to do this. It's called bending text. So let's do the rest of this. I start with uh, a cylinder and I make it 52 by 52 millimeters and put it in the middle here and uh, make it 20 millimeters here. Perspective, then I can use the front polygon and the back polygon, B for bevel, bevel it in on the red handle and delete the back polygon because we don't need that. Now uh, I cut this out, Control X, N for a new mesh, Control V and call this new mesh body. Oops, my keyboard has changed. I don't know why this happens. It changes from German to uh, US English. No idea why, but it happens all the time. So, now I press B again and bevel this in quite a lot. Control X, Control V and then bring it forward W. It is now separated from the rest of the geometry to about here. Next I can uh, add two edges in here, Alt C with the count of two, but uniform R key on the blue circle here and bring this out. That's maybe a bit a lot, 0, 1, 5, 5%, 5 0, 1, 5, like so. Good, then let's um, finish this body part. So I select two polys in here, B for bevel again, bevel it in and down slightly, shift click and bevel it down again and bevel it in. This is going to be our ringer. Now here uh, Alt C count of two but with symmetry. Let's see how this looks. Doesn't look too bad. But we have a slight problem here. This goes far too way back, so top view and W bring it to about here. That's okay. Perspective. Again, now we need to harden some edges. I think this one, this one and this one here, B for bevel and I use edge shape square. Uh, let's check the front so we don't mess up something here, like about so. That's good. Yes. Now 
I can go to the bottom, select four polygons in here, front view, shift x for polygon extrude, R key to make it flat, shift x again, bring it down, R key, bring it out and from the side view make this bigger as well, shift x again and delete the bottom polygon. Now let's see, yeah, I want to harden some edges in here, so L key, then control, click on boundary. Now we have the boundary selected. I can B for bevel and bevel these edges a little bit. That looks quite nice, but maybe we don't need this one. Yeah, that's good. Okay, next I make this face polygon here, so B for bevel. Oops, sorry. Bevel it in, in the front view, on the red handle, till about here. Then shift click, bevel it back, shift click again, bring it up to about here, shift click, bring it to here, shift click again, bring it up to about here, shift click and delete this. Now I select one of these edges here and Alt-C with a count of 2 and symmetry. Like so. Good. Next I want to make uh, the bells and the ringer. So I bring in one of my presets. It's a sphere 12 by 8. Double click A key R and on this middle circle here make it smaller. Shift A like this. Good. Then in front view I uh, Control C, Control V, W key, bring it up to about here. That's, mm, that's not bad, that's good. Delete the bottom half and now Control Copy, Control V, W again, R key, make this a lot smaller, like so. Then I can select these bottom polygons here, Shift X, bring them down and delete. Then W, make this a bit up, let's see, that's not good. We need to harden this edge, B for bevel, bevel it a little like so. Good. Next I can go to Polygon, uh, select these, thicken, minus two millimeters, that's good. Apply and I make this part here flat again. R key, zero it out on the Y and I put two edges in here, Alt C, like so. And now let's subdivide this in front view and bring this one down 
to about here and I retain a copy of this so control copy control V W and now I now I select these two E key for rotate but action center origin and bring this to about yeah, here. Then duplicate mirror over X, apply, and then we can make the ringer W key. I need to have this a lot smaller, but with action center normal. like about so w key bring it in position e key but i want to have the gizmo here yes exactly like this good next i can well i rename this this is uh, bells control x the sphere N for a new mesh, control V, and I make the handles now. For this, we need this a lot smaller, so something like this. So I take the top two rows of polygons, shift X them to about here, control X, control V, now control Z, sorry. I can select these top polygons which I uh, separated, W key to about here, then in edge mode select these edges, Z key, right click to activate the tool, R key and bring this out to here, W, bring it up and now I can select the top here and bridge them together. Let's see what we have from the side. First I want to make this here about the same as here. R key something like this. Then these two edges need some attention. So B for bevel again. Bevel them a little. How does it look? Good maybe front view maybe this is too wide R key that's better yes I add an edge in here and then the side view R key make this more flat perspective and then I use this here control copy control V E key the action center origin again bring it down to here now I can select this shift up arrow maybe one more R key make this a lot smaller this is going to be the handle where we uh, set the alarm so I make this a bit short W something like this good now 
I want to add some extra in here. Mm. I add one more edge in here. Here, yes. Then I select these four polygons, go to the back, select these here, press the shortcut for the bridge tool, bridge it together and put two edges in here. Let's see, yes. Now I can select these edges and these edges and press the R key, but with Action Center, Modo Default, like something like this. Yeah, I like it. Now I can select this handle, Control Copy, Control V, E key, put Action Center Origin again, and make the our handle, make it a bit shorter here, like so. And now we can place the handles. First I select this one, go to the side view, W key, bring it to about here. Then the our handle, W, to about here and the minute handle W to about here. Perspective. Now I want to go back to to the numbers and control copy this one go to the handles, control V and center this in all dimensions. Oops. And W bring this in front so it sticks out a bit here like so to mimic uh, the shaft on which the handles are on let's go to front view and make this a bit less geometric so e key a little so this is probably e key something like so and this here half past seven e key or here that's okay now there is only one thing left which is uh, the lens so i go again to my body select this H and hide it, then select this here, Z key, and bring this to about here. Then I can select it, wrong one, L key, control X, N for a new mesh, control V, F to flip it, then I can put the top in here, P for polygon, and let's see what we have now. Um, yeah, not bad. I select this polygon, P for bevel, bevel it in once, middle mouse button twice, and delete this. Then in front view, I select these four edges here and these four edges then bridge them make sure you have auto connection active click in the viewport now i can select these middle polys here r key make them a bit more equal to the rest 
perspective. Now let's bring the body in. Uh, body on height. Let's see. Okay. That's good. So the lens is a bit further out than the body. Let's go back to this lens here and in front view I bring out a radial fall off from the middle to about here. So this must be all zero and here I do like so. Let's make it 50 by 50 millimeters. Then perspective, W key, and make the lens. By the way, there is also another tutorial which I made quite some time ago about how to make perfect surfaces. This is uh, a similar method. Now the point is if you want to have a clear lens, be it glass or plastic, you need to give it some thickness, otherwise it will be blind and not look uh, real at all. So I go to uh, polygon, thicken, minus two millimeters again, yes, apply. Oops, didn't work. The reason is that our fall off is still active, so undo this. Shift Ctrl Z and get rid of the fall off. Now polygon thicken, apply. That looks a lot better. Now I can select these edges here, these ones, and this one, and bevel. it. Now uh, we are pretty much done. The next thing I do is I go to basic, shift click on this symbol, front view again, W key, bring the plane down, to about here and give it a material. So M, this is the plane. And now we must give all the rest materials. So I start here with the lens. M, this is the lens. Height, then I use the body. I want not to have too many colors. M, this is going to be the body, height, then um, these here, M, I want to have something shiny, height, then here, no, We have the handles, M, handles, H to hide. Now I use this here and this here, M, this will be a bronze bearing, height, then here L, shift up arrow, M, here I want to have also the body material, height, body height, and then M, call it face, height, 
and now finally uh, we have only the numbers left but also these I think now m numbers u unhide everything and now we can go to the render tab it's a bit on the big side something like this and I think we start with the glass so we see uh, the lens we see the rest I want to make this glass material a bit less transparent so select it so we get more of a plastic look I make this maybe 75% that's good and we have another problem The lens probably touches the handle. So W key and I bring it a bit more out like so. Good. And there is another thing. Probably I have certain things not subdivided and others I have and to find out which ones needs subdividing we can go to polygon by type and you see we have 608 faces so we select these tab key and now everything is in sub D mode so back to render still not so good I make this big handle a bit shorter so I don't need the lens mesh and here you see how important it is to give them real names and handles and use this here action center selection w key and make this a bit shorter like so let's get the lens back let's see here yes now it's looking right so this is good next i go to plastic uh, medium gloss this is going to be the body and the face I make yellow uh, the numbers I make the same as the body the handles are black here and bronze is metal bronze this one and the shiny I take our trusted silver uh, where is it here shiny and now I go to stone architectural tile semi gloss black one and use this for the plane yeah and finally to a layout I liked this one because it gives nice reflections see how we, the shadows yeah not bad C 
so and then I change the size of this from 1280 to 720 which is the standard size for uh, YouTube and let's render this F9 and render it out And here it is, our finished toy alarm clock. I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching. Take care and have fun modeling with Modo. See you some other time. Bye bye.